Basecamp initiated in 2018 to really address a lot of the historical problems in software acquisition. A couple people had this brilliant idea to focus on building those mission applications. And what we've been able to do is collect multiple folks in multiple different roles who understand, live, and breathe what DevSecOps is. Basecamp is the Catalyst Campus in Colorado Springs. In a amazing facility, an old railroad station, which brings a lot of nostalgia. We have found that it was a really good opportunity to partner alongside the Space Force and provide digital capabilities to the Space Warfighter. We're stood up to foster agile throughout the Space Force, but also helping the operators meet their missions through innovation and new technology. Our product teams here are made up of what we call balance teams, and what that looks like is with a specific product team, you have a product manager, you have your user experience designer, and then you have your different developers that are developing the applications. The unique part about a balance team is there's not one person that oversees the group or is kind of the director or chief of this group telling people what to do, but it's a really collaborative environment. For the most part, we almost act like a badgeless organization where we use contractors with government personnel in the DevSecOps world, security obviously is super important, and so that's why we do some of the things we do, like paired programming or test-driven development. In which you write the test for the functionality that you want before you write the code that actually implements it. It ensures that any new code that we push to our code base isn't going to introduce any breaking changes to the application overall. Our software processes that we use here at Spacecamp are what allow us to leverage the continuous ATO, and that's what enables us to push out our software to the warfighter as quickly as possible, and enables us to deliver updates and patches without going through a long security process. The rapid change that's going on here, the fact that we're able to work with operators in real time and give them products much, much sooner than we traditionally have been in the past. We are shortening the timeline to weeks or less. It's actually much faster to do a design, flesh out the design, test just the prototype design with the user instead before even a line of code is written and get some feedback right away. With actual operators to see does that actually help meet your pain point. We'll sit down and map out like a workflow of how to address that, develop an MVP that addresses it, and then just keep iterating on that process. We take the time to go out there, understand our users' needs, and bring that back into the project. We're actually listening to validating the pain points of the users. We combine all those tools and we come up with a product that best serves the operator at the end of the day. The key to all this stuff is just very close interaction with the end user and I like to think of it as the end user is almost like part of the, the development team. It's really innovative. <laughs> you know, you come into these environments and it's just like rapid fire information, lots of different things changing, changing quickly. There are a lot of updates, there are a lot of changes, there's new government policy coming down, there's new product teams. But because we work with such brilliant people who really understand how to listen. You get a lot of innovation as a result of being in that fast-paced environment. But we also make time to learn a little bit about every person. Every person's story adds something that we need. And that really helps us to capitalize on the diversity of all of our awesome teammates. Combination of the young military people, the contractors that are enthusiastic. It's just a very positive place to work. That's something that makes Space Camp special. We're not just focused on meeting milestones. We're really invested in our people, and I think that, honestly, that's why we're able to keep up with the pace.